I want to say my farewell to the only woman I ever loved. Okay. Well, you just go on now. Make it quick and I'm in it. Peggy, 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 Peggy. I can't think of nothing else to say. Now, go on. Love you. Can I have my lighter fluid No! Think of your family. You need your legs. Come on. Life is one big old pile of shit, Latrell. Well, it's about that. Oh, I could just kill you, Ma. You weren't already dead. What got into you, Ma? Why on earth would you run around with the likes of Bitsy Mae Harley? A convict. And G.W. Nethercott, who just tried to set fire to his wooden legs in the church house to make amends for killing you. That is not a smart man, Mama. You taught us not to cavort with trash like that. How could you leave me in a quandary like this? Mama? Dad! I made it. I made it after all. You did? Oh, I mean, thank you. Oh, let me look at you. Are you okay? Okay. Okay. No, Ty, I am not okay. I have had a horrible, horrible day. But you're here now. Things are looking up. Mama, I'm gay. You don't know what I've had to deal with while your daddy built building houses for poor white trash with Jimmy and Rosalind Carter. Your Aunt LaVonda held up a liquor store and is in jail. Oh, aren't these flowers pretty? Mama, did you hear and me? And I I'm got gay. the bail money, the sissy. $900, which I better get back, and we were able to cry that god awful mink stole off your grandmother that your Aunt LaVonda insisted that she wear in the heat of summer. Mama, I'm gay. I know you're gay. I've known you're gay since you were five years old and you wanted that ah uh, Susie Q for Christmas instead of the dump truck dad. <laughs> I know you're gay. I've always known, but could we please just bury your grandmother and get on with life, could we? Because I think I'm gonna explode any minute if any more shit hits the fan today. <laughs> Did you just say shit? <laughs> you I did. And I said, damn, but they do. And hell, and bitch, and dookie. And you know what? I can't say no more. Damn, hell, bitch, shit, dookie, damn, oh, hell, mama, calm down. bitch, shit, daddy! <laughs> Or what? I don't know, sewing those slim labels on my husky jeans. Oh, Lord. I forgot all about that. I didn't. Slim. <laughs> You're better, baby. You <laughs> no. oh, think we fooled anyone with that? No. <laughs> Good to laugh. Yes, it does. I haven't laughed all day. Me either. Why'd you change those labels? All I ever wanted for you was for you to be happy. I couldn't make you happy. And I blame Dr. Macride. Dr. McRae, for what? For you being gay. When I was pregnant with you, he gave me this drug that had estrogen in it to keep me from miscarrying again. I am positive that's what caused this. Mama, I don't think that that's what caused this. And I'm getting happy now. And I want you to know that. Well, glad someone is. Well, uh, Nan Nan looks good. Now. Oh, Lord. What she did to Brother Boy, she would roll over in her grave if she knew you were gay, too. 
That is if she was in her grave. <laughs> Hey, Nanya, guess what? I'm gay. Yep, gay as a goose. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Just as gay as Uncle Brother Boy. Oh, you are not. Nobody's that gay. <laughs> so what is it exactly that you do? Charles? Oh dear God, I hope my mama isn't asking me about my sex life. Well, if I have a gay son, I need to know about gay sex. Well then read a book, mama. I don't ask you what happens in the privacy of your own bedroom. I'll tell you exactly what happens. Nothing. No, 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 no. I am not about to explain gay sex and the details of my own sex life to my mama in front of my grandmother's coffin. You want to step outside? No! <laughs> I, I'm not going to discuss this with you, period. Well, fine, be that way. You know, I will. Just trying to be open. You know, maybe I don't want you to be. You've always been my special boy. I never felt closer to anyone. No one. Mama's boy. You always had that special bond. And you know, I'm not sure we would have had that if you weren't gay. So I don't regret taking that drug after I lost those other babies. Because I can't imagine life without you dying. I'm happy with who I am now, Mama. Instead of blaming Dr. McRae, maybe we should just thank him. Maybe. But he's dead. I love you, Mama. So, so much. I love you, too. So, are you the woman or the man? Here we go. Shall meet on that beautiful shore. Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Jesus. Today we are gathered here together to pay our respects to and celebrate the life of our beloved sister. Peggy Sue. Peggy was born February 28, 1933. Right here outside of Winters. Peggy died July 23, 1999. And at this time, Peggy's younger daughter, Latrine. Latrell. 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 I'd like to say a few words in memory of her dearly departed mother. Thank you, Brother Barnes. And uh, I'd like to thank y'all for coming here today. What a nice turnout. As many of you know, 
My mama was not right for the last six months of her life. Good job, she abandoned her sense of morality and upbringing and started running around. We're friends. Oh, Lord. I took her to the doctor over in Snyder a few months ago, and they found a lemon size cancerous tumor on her brain. No. Yes. What'd she say? With the water. It was inoperable. And broke. Rapid. Mama asked me to tell no one. And I kept her secret. Till now. But it's time to clear your name, Mama. What happened was the tumor grew. And it pressed. Up against the wealthy. Sexual. Part of her brain. She 